Who and which? Who and which mean the same, but they are used differently. Who is used about people and pets. Which is used about things and animals. They are called relative pronouns, which means that they connect subordinate clauses to main clauses. For example, that man is my brother. He lives in the house by the park. That man who lives in the house by the park is my brother. Oslo has a population of half a million. Oslo is the capital of Norway. Oslo, which is the capital of Norway, has a population of half a million. Whom is used instead of who after a preposition. For example, to whom do I owe the pleasure of this visit? I wonder from whom we will receive the first present. It is used in a formal written style and almost never in spoken English. That can be used to replace who or which in an identifying relative clause. An identifying clause is one which is necessary to the meaning of the sentence. I just met the neighbour that moved in last week. The clause that moved in last week identifies the neighbour and is necessary. You have to take the train that leaves from platform two. That identifies which train to take. A non-identifying relative clause is one which can be left out without changing the essential meaning of the sentence. My brother, who is a teacher, lives abroad. Non-identifying clauses are separated by commas from the rest of the sentence. These clauses can be left out without changing the meaning of the sentence.